Ladies and gentlemen, the God we speak about, He takes away the mountain. And they even never know. You shall know. God is Jehovah. I will come and testify. Only this time, they will know. That uh, the Gracious Choir was founded by Pastor Oksu Park. And they were founded to be a choir that performs only for the gospel. And so for the last more than 20 years, they've been performing in over 30 countries around the world every year to spread the message of the gospel. Uh, each member of the choir had received salvation and they had a specific calling to serve the gospel through music. And they are the grand prize winners at the top international choral competitions around the world in Italy, Switzerland, and Germany. And so they are coming here and they're so happy to welcome 2024 here with all of you in Uganda. Who? Become like who? Nemufukangani. Yesu Christo. Jesus Christ. Yesu Christo. Yesu Christo. Jesus Christ. Yesu Christo. Tonight we will change your heart into the heart of Jesus. Now at this time, throw away your own thoughts. And if you receive the heart of Jesus, then all of you become Jesus of this time period. Amen.
monange abala be bali mpangute confession with our light. Say, dear Father, in the name of Jesus, for this whole year, 2024, I shall be the light of the world. I shall fight the enemy the enemy of sin, this, the enemy of selfishness, I shall fight darkness, every demon and every evil spirit, I shall endeavor to be the light of the world. 
Wherever I go, whatever I do, in every area, I shall prove to the world that Jesus is Lord, He is my Savior, He is my Lord, and I live by Him. In Jesus' name, Amen. God spoke to me in the year 2002 to begin gathering people and collecting people to come and, and give him worship on a day before we enter the new year. The day he gave me that idea was October 8 and we are going on to October 9, 2002. And God said to me that from the year 1962, Uganda had turned 40 years independent. And according to the heavens, every 40 years is a generation. And after every generation, a nation goes through a transformation and things begin to change. If the nation exercises the fear of God and the gospel is preached and God is magnified in that nation and that nation stands out as a nation that exercises the fear of God. God allows that generation to rule over the next generation. But when a nation refuses God, because the prophets have gone silent or that the leaders have become corrupt and spoiled that which God has given them as a gift then that nation is left to decay so that another generation 40 years later comes up to rebuild the ruins. When that happened, God said to me, You have served. You are now going into mature age. You are free to benefit from the old generation. Thank you, Lord. Shout, thank you, Lord. You be the loudest in this crowd. You be the loudest shouter in this crowd. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. done. Look at the work of your hands. We give you thanks. We give you thanks today. Our hearts are full of joy today. In the name of Jesus, we give you thanks today. I cannot hear you, sir. I cannot you hear. I have no idea where you are. Give the Lord thanks for everything. You survived. 
You survived of COVID. COVID you are Moana. You survived of COVID. COVID you are Moana. You survived of sickness and disease. How did you escape? How did you escape? All come on. Wave your hands and say thank you. Have you been to hospital? And you came out? You survived? How did it become? How did it happen? How did it happen? Thank you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Jehovah, Jehovah. You're not jolly, Jehovah. Come on. Oh, people. People, listen. Yeah. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Two. One. Happy New Year.
to Moses I am going to give you authority in the nation of Egypt you will be like a god to Pharaoh Moses said no I'm a human being and God said Exactly. I am not even going to Egypt. I'm not going there. You, Moses. Musa. You, Moses. Musa. Are going to go to Egypt. And when you go, don't speak like you. Or me. Just make a command. So when Moses goes to Egypt, he said, Let my people go. Here is what is going to happen this year. Egypt feared Moses because. Three things happened. Number one, the mighty creative hand of God worked through Moses. Uganda is going to experience the creative hand of God.